Seperti mana yang tuan-tuan puan-puan sedia maklum, NTIS ini telah pun diwujudkan sewaktu saya menjadi Menteri Sains, Teknologi dan Inovasi dan saya terlibat dalam pembentukan NTIS dan NTIS adalah sesuatu yang dekat dengan hati saya tapi saya ucapkan terima kasih kepada Datuk Seri Dr. Adham kerana beliau bukan hanya terus membangunkan inisiatif ini tetapi banyak memberi tumpuan bagi lebih mengukuhkan ekosistem teknologi dan inovasi terutamanya melalui hub-hub yang telah pun ditubuhkan <tuk> kalau tak silap saya mungkin uh, Zulira boleh betulkan saya kalau silap sektor teknologi perubatan dan kesihatan merupakan sektor yang paling banyak memohon untuk menyertai NTIS berbanding dengan sektor-sektor yang lain jadi dalam National Technology and Innovation Sandbox most or 26% of the proposals that they received are from companies and startups that are involved in medical technology and um, that was the case when I was also at MOSTI we saw a lot of interest from local companies and startups and companies based in Malaysia to participate in the sandbox. It was for that reason that um, I asked Zulira, shall we set up a medical or health technology hub under NTIS? After all, the idea for having the NTIS came about during my time and the idea was very simple. The idea was to create uh, an environment where technology and solutions could be test bedded, could be funded, could go through a few iterations in an environment where regulatory approvals were much, much less stringent in order for the product to quickly get to market and to be funded at the initial stage. Sebab itu kita telah pilih beberapa hospital, not just for 5G, but for all tech solutions to be uh, the hubs that will be, uh, that have been identified and that will uh, welcome technology companies and startups in order for you to test bed your products and solutions at these hospitals. Hospital-hospital uh, ini yang telah dikenal pasti adalah Institute Cancer Negara di Putrajaya. Hospital Putrajaya, Hospital Tengku Aziza, which is the child and maternity hospital in HKL. And then we have also chosen hospitals in rural areas. So one hospital that we have chosen is the recently opened Hospital Bura in Pahang. And my speech only has four hospitals. Institute Cancer Negara, Putrajaya Hospital, Hospital Tengku Aziza, Hospital Bura. And that's not good enough, so I added Hospital Rembau. <laughs> because I'm told that the member of parliament there is quite reliable chap <laughs> so uh, we've identified five of these hospitals where we will create uh, the framework for you to be able to go there and for you to be able to test your products and your solutions there